Thanks for checking out this video. Don't forget, like and subscribe. All right, uh, SmackDown from Friday had the return of Roman Reigns. And man, let me tell you something. The show opened up with Cody coming out. Mm -hmm. And man, these people just went haywire for this guy. They just went crazy. They had a great. For this guy. They, they 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 had a great. They had a great crowd. They had some yes. good wrestling. Um, unfortunately, but hold on. Let me get to my point. Yes. Cody comes out at the beginning of the show, and this place is just out of their minds. Roman comes out at the end of the show, and they are out of their minds. Yeah. We have two yeah. gigantic, massive baby faces at the mm -hmm. same time. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean. <laughs> Yeah, you got to go back to the Attitude Era to get two guys this over at the same time. Yeah, well, look, that's why their business is so strong. Well, Roman's not even going to be around a lot, although he's he's working. There's, there's, he's working several TVs. You know, I'm not sure when he's actually wrestling again, but um, probably Survivor. I'm going to guess Survivor Series. I'm, I mean, he's not going to be wrestling on the Berlin show. I don't think there's no indication. Although, you know. Um, feels like maybe he does solo and then he goes to Jacob Fatu later you know that's probably it because they're they're keeping Jacob Fatu away did they ever say anything on TV because I don't recall nothing he was he, I mean well they had uh they had uh I think it was who was it somebody mentioned I think it was Cody um he mentioned that you know uh Jacob got hurt because of you oh yeah, he yeah. said he said solo couldn't finish a job on his own got his cousin hurt yeah. But, I mean, it was just the Tongans came out with the tag titles, just hold on to them like they were the champions. Yeah. No mention of someone else defending for him or anything. It's just yeah. he wasn't there. Yeah. But anyway, Cody came out. Place goes totally nuts for this guy. And then out comes Solo in the bloodline, and Solo wants a rematch. They booed Solo a lot. Yeah. Well, he wanted yeah. a rematch. There's literally no reason for it, and Cody pointed this out. Yeah. And Solo told the bloodline to kick his ass. Kevin Owens hits a ring with some chairs, makes a save, heals Bale, and then Cody grabs the mic and he says, Kevin, come back in the ring. I want to talk to you about something. So Kevin gets back in the ring, and Cody says, I was talking about who I wanted to face for this title earlier, and I want to face you. Kevin says, I appreciate it. I don't deserve a match. I really don't. You can look at my win-loss. I'm not the guy. Cody this Trenton. is this is this is this is actually one of the weirdest angles I've ever seen. Well, they're friends, you see. But 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 you should always be going for a championship, oh, especially a guy offers you a world title match and you're going in there and turning it down. That is like it makes no sense. I mean, you talk about something that makes no sense. This makes no sense. Well, Cody says I'm going to go talk to Aldis, and so later they're all arguing backstage, and Aldis says, "Well, you know." I've been waiting here to talk to Roman Reigns about a title match. And all of a sudden, Kevin is aghast. And he goes, are you kidding me? What has this guy done to deserve this rematch? And Aldis said he was champion for four years. Kevin says, I've, I've beaten him. Cody's beaten him. There was always someone there to save him. They got rid of the automatic rematch thing years ago. He doesn't deserve it. He hasn't been around. He says, if you want to find somebody deserving this title, go open that locker room door and look inside. You'll see dozens of guys deserving of that title shot. I don't know that you'd see anyone. Well, Randy Aldis... Orton. Randy Orton wasn't even there, and he was the, he'd be the the closest one. Jacob Fatu is hurt. Uh, who 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 was who would who would be there? Andrade. Carmelo I think Hayes? it's I think his point was if you open the locker room door, you'll see people who have actually been here wrestling. Unlike Roman Reigns, who has been gone since Mania. Yeah, anyway, no, no, but but I mean the the one of the things was is coming out of that pay per view, they didn't have anybody ready. Well, Aldis I mean, there's says, no there was there was nobody. I mean, except for Roman, and obviously Roman's not going after Cody right now because he's going to be wrestling solo first. Well, Aldis says I don't need to look through that door because there's a guy standing right here. So the match is on, Cody and Kevin Owens. Yeah, it's an interesting match at the uh, pay per view. Yeah, yeah. So we're doing a little mini tournament for the tag team title number one contendership. It was Eight Town Down versus the Street Profits, and Street Profits ended up winning this match. And then so the, later on the, in the show, the th the thing that they were doing is, um, you know, for for both of the, t the tag team title matches, a couple of matches on the show, they would do the one minute, four minutes of commercials, two minutes finish. Yes, you know this this match actually, from what aired on television, was pretty damn hot. But it was just kind of like, you know, seven-minute match and almost all during the commercial break. 
Well, same thing in the main event. DIY and pretty deadly in a contenders match. And, same exact uh, DIY won, so they'll be facing off With next week profits. against Street, Street Profits Pro for the number one. And then one the winners face whoever the champions are, who we don't know, probably at the pay per view, right? That's just the idea. Yeah, yeah. We had Jade Cargill, Alba Fire. Jade just squashed her. Mm -hmm. One half of the tag champs. Then Blair hit the ring to attack him. It's three on two. Naomi runs down to make the save. They clear the ring. We got a six person match coming up. That was funny when they announced, like, um, finally, um, Naomi is, is going to go after Blair Davenport. And it's just like, it wasn't like three weeks ago they wrestled. I mean, they literally just wrestled. It was fairly recently, yes. Yeah. L.A. Knight came out and cut a promo. He's super over as well. And Santos Escobar interferes, and he wants a title match. And L.A. basically says, well, you know, you deserve to get the brakes beat off you, so go beat this guy and maybe you can get a shot. So it's Santos versus Andrade, number one contenders match. They actually had a really good match. They had a hell of a match. They had yes. a really good match, yeah. They had a very good match. There's uh, interference at the end by Carmelo Hayes. As Andrade tries to double knees in the corner, Carmelo pulls Santos out of the way. Santos rolls up Andrade, pulls the tights, and pins him. So it will be Santos Escobar getting the title shot at L.A. Knight. And, yeah, this was this was a great match. Yeah, yeah. A town down met with Pierce, and Theory basically signs Waller to a match with Kevin Owens next week. And Waller's outraged, and Theory says, "I got your back, just like you always got my back." And he yeah. smiles. And so, uh, this is the longest breakup in the history of wrestling at this point. They've been breaking up for months now. They're still yeah. together. And then the main event segment was Solo coming out. He said, uh, "Roman, I'm the tribal chief now." If you want to call yourself the tribal chief, if you want these beads back, come and get it. So Roman's music hits. This place loses their mind. He comes out. He totally destroys the Tongans. He hits Solo with the Superman punch, sets up for the spear. The Tongans save Solo. Roman looks down. There's the beads. He's got his beads back. But as he lifts them up, Tama and Tonga jump him, and they steal the beads. They give them back to Solo. They're beating down Roman. The fans are chanting for Cody, but uh, Roman destroys them single-handedly, <laughs> destroys them both. Crowd's chanting OTC, and then uh, on the ramp, Solo's screaming that he's the chief now. Mm. So uh, that match is coming. Oh, yeah. That match is coming. Let's see how long they hold it off for. So, yeah, great crowd for that SmackDown show. It was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. I thought it was a hell of a show, really. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah. Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you? WrestlingObserver.com. Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute, as noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer newsletter. You also get Observer archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.